assume they don't have chairs, right? No. Huh? Oh, I mean, not, I mean, not for here, but like... I mean, for this particular event. Yeah. Nice to have met you. This is David Crosby, back from the day. You know David Crosby? He performed at Woodstock. He was a great rock folk singer. Yeah, you, you should look up on YouTube, Crosby, Stones, and Nam. YouTube, you know YouTube, of course, right? There's so much skate pop on YouTube. You gotta look up Crosby, Stones, and Nam. be worth it for the visual but I'll treat you to the ticket. Look if you really want to I'll let you buy it for me only because if you really want it I'll, I'd ride the hell out of it. Okay. <laughs> Singing the actual Broadway shows. They had that at 12.30 today. Oh we missed it by 15 minutes. Oh we actually did. And if you like I'll send you an email of arts and cultural events when things are free newsletters to subscribe to. Would you like to take my email? Sure. Let me get her ticket yes. real quick and then <laughs> cool. I want to ride with that cutie. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Here's the schedule. Look at this. Oh, wow. The carousel. It's all on BrianPark.org. Wait a minute. Do you spell carousel with two R's? I thought it's one R. I don't know why they're just wrong. That they is wrong. That is not wrong correct. That is more wrong -er. So it's Michael, M I C H A E L. M I C H A E L, then another yeah. M for Marcus, Michael M, and then six more letters. Spellberg. F is in Frank, E L, F in Larry, B as in Boy, E R, Michael M. Spellberg, at AOL.com. AOL. It's good for enough for my great. <laughs> good enough for me. And just says, says, hey, look, a picture with you and the rabbit. You want, I'll check the Beautiful. Good luck on You're your welcome. audition. I want to ride, I want to ride, I want to ride. I think you are ready to enter. Oh, maybe so. On this side, okay. Wait, over here. Run, Michael, run. Whoops. Run, Michael, run. Lucky, you pick a vehicle, You definitely got to be on a horse or something like that. You can pick one. Or a rabbit. Which one you want? You, uh, this one, right here on the uh, this beauty. Yeah, it's a beauty. I don't know if I'm a big enough boy to get up there. I don't know. Strap in so you don't fall off. Ride 'em, cowboy! Yeehaw! <laughs> ah ha ha ha! You got yelled at. You got yelled at. 
You're sitting on it. I may not have the technical capacity. No, you're sitting on it. I would have buckle up. <laughs> Me no understanding. Does it fit? At least I'm not too fat for the seatbelt. <laughs> yes, I'm in technically. Technically, you're in. Yeah, please. I I'm taking the rest of my natural lifespan to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> So how old are you that you needed to help with your seatbelt? Put your seat back in the upright position. No cocktail peanuts. I thought you were the captain. How come you're being strapped into the passenger side? No, I'm only first class. Good luck. Hey, feet in the stirrups. Put the feet in the stirrups, kid. <laughs> Hey, Marley! <laughs> Hi! Try to catch the rabbit! <laughs> <laughs> You're gaining on it. You're gaining. Yeah. Look how relaxed you are. Very nice. Very nice. What a great ride. You're a great actor. Bye. Have fun, fun. Good luck at the addition. Break a leg. Did you want me to send in the footage? Yeah, you threw your. When you guys do the email, I'll send you everything. Okay, so when I get yeah. it, I'll send it in. Good luck. What will you try to audition for on Broadway? We're going to do a talent agent. Which one? Oh, a talent With a talent agent. agent. That's your best oh, bet because they know everybody. Yeah. Hey. Wow, you look like eight going on 32. I was going to guess 25. <laughs> you look like a mini movie star already. Very good luck. Take care now. Lucky that's the road not traveled. We forgot to have kids. <laughs> we forgot to have children. Take care. Bye-bye. You're so cute. Terrified. Is. All of his... Okay. Tell us about the nature and meaning of beauty and its origins in the Greek. Okay. 
I'm getting back to early childhood education after 35 years, so I've been looking up the origins of everything, but nothing, nothing makes any sense, especially words. So I found the origins of a word that everybody loves. I think you've heard of it. It's called beauty. Beauty. Today, it's like an object or a picture, but going back to one of the cameraman's ancestors, his name was, you know, Plato, it was simply about you as a person. So beauty originally means the act of responding to your own calling. So when you come from your own heart and you have the courage to let your inside outside and express your truth, that's you. Lucky went to school with Plato. He could be going back to the Celtic tradition. Okay. It's like 2,000 years ago, which is the closest to heaven on earth. Oh. So every word he speaks is only the way an Irish poet can put it together. Oh. And he was also a Catholic priest for 20 years. So he spoke to people from birth to death for 20 years. So when he speaks and puts his words together, every sentence is pure, beautiful poetry with the most oh. beautiful lyrical Irish prose you've ever heard. John O apostrophe D-O-N-O-H-U-E. And this is just a sample of what is the meaning of a day well spent. Let's hear it. Well spent. Best thing you'll ever hear. All right. It says, possibility and change becomes growth when the shape of time we call a day. Days are where we live. This rhythm shapes our life. Your life takes the form of each new day that is given to you. There's an old dictum that says, it is more difficult to spend a day well than it is to write a book. A day is precious because each new day is essentially the microcosm of your whole life. Each day is different. In the book of Revelation, God said, the world of the past has gone. Behold, I am making all of creation and that shirt was only thirteen dollars at Old Navy. That's right, thirteen dollars. Didn't finish. The day deepens oh, what has already happened and unfolds what is surprising, unpredictable, and creative. However, you may wish to change your life. You may be in therapy or religion, but your new day remains merely talk until it enters the practice of your day. Gesundheit, aloha. It's great. And behold, I have become death, destroyer of worlds, and perform of Oppenheimer. And I'll see you in every theater. <laughs> Look them up. Twins separated at birth. My evil younger brother. Older? Ah, no, that's a Socrates. Heraclitus. But all of his spoken word things, most of them are still used today. Heraclitus influenced Socrates, even though he preceded him by 60 years. Yeah. But he's the guy that said things like, you can never step inside the same part of a river twice. Or the same stream, there's something that's translated. The, yeah, all of that stuff was okay. from him. Look him up, right. and he'll have 60 of his best, best, uh, you know, little... Who's your favorite same. of these? Heracles, students from Socrates, Plato, Aristotle. Which ones did you know personally? Which did you prefer? Plato, and remember, you're still under oath. Plato is one. Oh. Because when you read about, you know, the cave, yeah. and you've been locked up looking at shadows and stuff, when you finally see the light of day, it's the first time you realize that you've got some living life inside of you. You mean the platonic ideal where you're only seeing a pale reflection of all of That's life? That's the cave. Yes. The story of the cave. Yeah. So read it again because it's the best thing you ever saw. All right. I see and your you know true that record. Roman. That was his... Devote. No, that was his uh, nickname. Did you know that? Did I yeah, know? no idea. Okay. Plato, when he was a young man, believe it or not, was an Olympic champion wrestler. Oh. So Plato, his neck was halfway out to here. <laughs> you see a statue of him when he was... Oh, yeah, so Plato is like a Greek word that means plate. Yeah. Broad and thick. His neck was halfway out to here. That's interesting. Yeah. And they probably didn't have weight categories that day, so you just had to be big and strong. They all you couldn't be a Floyd Mayweather. A lot of them look like you. You're flattering me. But at 137, I'm not doing badly. I'm not flattering you. Oh, you're too kind. You're standing up straight. <laughs> I'm barely erect, so to speak. Hey, keep you're barely erect for the kids. Okay. I mean, in terms of evolutionary sense. I know. I'm afraid getting of, up there. I've got a quirky friend of mine okay. who told me something. Yeah. He said, "Nobody can love you like you can. So, 
get a good grip on yourself. No, I don't know about that. That may not be suitable for family consumption. I ain't got nobody. Sing with me. Okay. Nobody cares for me. Really loves me. I care for me. I'm so sad and lonely. Well, some sweet mama, come and take a chance with us. Because we are not so bad. Give it up now, yeah. Woo! That, yes. that was set lines for your for your YouTube. Can't do that. YouTube? A Ute? What's a Ute? A YouTube. Ah, I just saw Joe Pesci last night. So the two my cousin Vinny. So there's an amazing thing where you can get a million ideas from. It's on uh, you know YouTube and it's called you know laugh laughs or something. Okay. Or laughs and uh, there are hundreds of them but they're all like spontaneous things that take part in the street. We're just an ancient gigolo. Well, everywhere look, we go. Take a look at it. You know the part? Can you give it a more specific prominence for that? Yeah. You know the part we're playing. Okay. Pay for every dance. See, you can tell them each romance. your secret of being 90 years old, Ooh, but how you fool you yeah. look because of the songs you sing. When youth will pass away, which happened the day after yesterday. Okay. What will they say about you? I'm really 137 years old, 90 years old, is that that's been foretold? He's flattering my ego. All about me. Okay. We ain't got no buddy. Oh. We are the hero. What's up, sweet mama? Of our own destiny? Uh, or David Bowie type style? Uh, one that came up with, uh, you know, we are the, the heroes. What's his name? We can be heroes, if just for one day. Yeah, you know, guy. Okay, he's going to take you away and show you his oh, private yeah. places that he's had intellectual tattoos put on. Nobody oh cares about God. me. Well, woo. And as he loves himself, oh, right. the inner story will unroll as he does it. Take a look. <laughs> oh, thanks very much. And walk into the sunset. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh, great. Purveyor of verses and songs.